Welcome back, everybody. It is the Conway Women Show live on 97.1 Free FM. Oh, just hold on one second. I'm sorry. I'm. I, I was just. I'm. So, oh, we're back. Yeah. I was just online. I'm ordering my O-ring. All right. Hold on. I just have to. Uh, I can just pay online for it. Um. It's amazing. No. It, did you see what it looks like? Yeah. Now you got a check, or you're just gonna it's just say? Uh, no, I'm just. I just wanted. I just wanted self uh, pleasurable. Oh, ring. No, I'm going to have them deliver. They should have one for chi- for guys who don't have chicks called My Ring. You just sit at home with yourself and uh, ring it up, man. I would like them to deliver this O ring to my home so I can uh, take it for a spin. I'd like to get the. Um, what do you do with that, Tim? The O ring? Yeah, do you do. I mean, that you do with that what I think you do with it, right? Oh, boy. The amazing ring has everything a girl will want and more. Right, including cake. Does she? How, how fat does she sound? They should get those Ovaltine kids to do that O-ring spot. I man. would get those Ovaltine kids in there. Yeah. More O-rings, Mom. Please. All right. Uh, earlier today, between 6 and 7 p.m., Tom Like has talked about Brian Whitman. Here is a sample of what you may have missed, if you missed it, or what you've heard. What you heard between 6 and 7 p.m. That show has done entire hours They have done entire hours where they say that I am on the show and people call in and they have the character playing me saying the same thing over and over for a full hour. Now, that sounds like Tom's irritated. Listen to it again. It sounds like Tom's irritated. That show has done entire hours. They have done entire hours where they say that I am on the show and people call in and they have the character playing me. At saying the same thing over and over for a full hour. All right. Yeah, he does sound pissed off. By the way, when we do that, we're not. I'm not trying to trick someone to make them think that it's an extension of the Tom Liker right, show. We know that. Because this show is very different from from his show. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Tim. But um, <laughs> I should. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, that show has done entire hours there, where they have a character playing me, and the. Uh, People call him, and they think it's me. There. All right, here's uh, more of the uh, Tom Leggett show between uh, 6 and 7 p.m. today. I, I miss- believe it's Brian oh, okay. has said that he feels that you don't like him in some way. Why did Brian Whitman say I don't like him? And I if he do. thinks I don't like him, why doesn't Brian face me? Face to face, <laughs> man to man, toe to toe. Yes. You meet him over at the Palm. By the way, you can't uh, you can't encounter Tom face to face because he's always wearing sunglasses. So I couldn't look in I couldn't look in his eye and say, "What do you think of me?" Because you can't see his eyes because he wears the glasses. Even at the Key Club, where every light is turned off. Yes. How are you there? And I don't, I, I don't know. And I would like to respond to that, Tim. All right. Why did I say that I don't think he likes me? Right. Because of the caller we played last right. Friday, the woman who called his show, and he was attacking me. That's why. But now, ultimately, I don't care. Isn't that obvious? No, it, it's obvious that you do. I really don't. You care. If, if, if Brian Whitman received 10,000 emails saying he was the greatest entertainer on the planet, then he received one. That said he didn't like the uh, they didn't like the care much for the sweater he wore to the Disneyland remote. He would only remember the sweater at the Disneyland remote. Is that true, sir? You might be onto something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why does he face me, sunglasses to sunglasses, man to man? All right, here we go. And, I don't know. Uh, I don't think he has the uh, the balls. You know, his balls. Yes. To do it. Is that what the problem is? No balls. Oh, boy. Dear. All right. Not a problem. A uh, testicular problem, dear. All right. We can uh, tend you here. Uh, Tom yes. Likas, the, uh, the sound bites in the Tom Likas show between 6 and 7 p.m. today. Uh, oh. Daryl Hammond doesn't go on Saturday Night Live. Has Dick Cheney. He actually has jokes. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, that was, by the way, that was. I've heard some Dick Cheney impressions. Right. You like that one? Uh, oh. Daryl Hammond doesn't go on Saturday Night Live. As Dick Cheney, he actually has jokes. Okay, uh, I, I'd like to um, <clears throat> defend Brian Whitman here, in uh, in a, uh, a a sort of roundabout way. But not a direct way. I mean, why? Why? Well, I guess it could be direct. Why defend your partner in a direct way? It could be direct. You no, know, I'm not defending you. I'm complimenting you. Thank you, Tim. First of all, Daryl Hammond sucks. Oh, I don't think so. Trust me. In in Hollywood, uh, in the Hollywood circles and the comedians that I've met, they all, none of them have respect for what Daryl Hammond does. First of all, all of his characters sound the same. 
Second of all, his material sucks. But he has jokes. It sucks. Daryl Hammond sucks. Do you Does think, anyone um, get that? Do you think Does anyone on that show get that? Jokes. Has anyone, has anyone seen Saturday Night Live lately? It's, it, he's terrible, this oh, Daryl Hammond. I think he's very talented. He's not talented. But when, he goes, when he goes on there, Tim. He's an unfunny, untalented hack. He has jokes. He, does, he has jokes that somebody at Saturday Night Live is writing for him, but I, I, they're just barely jokes. Have you seen him do Richard Dreyfus? It's very funny. Oh, he's, he's horrible. He's horrible. Uh, his, um, his Al Gore is just the worst. Uh, his Al Gore sounds like uh, Richard Nixon, which sounds like George Bush. It's all the same guy. Yes. Uh, yeah. As Dick Cheney, you see? And that's what yeah. I'm trying to say. Being an impressionist is not just coming on the air and doing a good imitation of somebody's voice but, but or mannerisms. You have material. All right, first of all, Daryl Hammond's on the air for five minutes a week. Uh, Brian Whitman's on the air for three uh, for 15 hours a week. Difference, Big difference between five minutes a week and 15 hours a week. Well, also, I mean, it, that, uh, for, a I big difference. I, I, Plus, Saturday Live has a huge either. budget where you can hire writers. There's probably 35 writers on that show, and they're responsible for one hour and 30 minutes of material right, every Tim, week. You know me well enough to know. They're, they're, on, they're responsible for less than that. Saturday Night Live is responsible for an hour of material every week, and it still sucks. Tim, you know me well enough to know I don't You're have... doing three hours of original material every night. Tim, you know that I don't have three hours of original material in me. No, you don't. Uh, you know that. I know you don't. And I know that. Um, I think the audience knows that. Fine. So the secret. You're not, you, you, who's the jig is up. Right. So let's. So 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 why be rude? <laughs> I mean, see, th th that's a that's a fair point. If you know that I don't have three hours of original material in me, and I know that, and the audience knows that, why state the obvious, but, rub it in, and be who, nasty? Uh, who's being nasty? Right. I think Tom was nasty to me. All right, here we go. Brian does a, a good impression of my voice and of uh, my mannerisms, and and he's made me laugh. Oh, that's nice. Where, where is that angry and mean towards you? Well, where is it? That is very nice, actually. I had Brian does a, a good impression of my voice and of uh, my mannerisms, and and he's made me laugh. There you go. You know what? I take back what I said about Edward G. Robinson and being old. But at some point, you got to come up with jokes. Uh -oh. You can only uh, imitate me going yeah so many times, and eventually, was that here? Yeah. You got to actually write a joke. Right. I think that was you. You know. Him. You know what I don't need is a lecture. Right. Okay. Uh, I. I mean, I. I don't need a lecture too. All right. Here we go. I mean, I'm barely. I'm barely. I know you're barely sane. I'm barely. You're barely getting here every night. Right. So what I don't need is hostility from coworkers because that's just going to drive me away. It's just going to. It's just going to turn me away, Tim. Because, <laughs> well, we don't want to turn you away. Because ultimately, when push comes to shove, I'm very unstable. Right. And and you you think you're about to snap? Yeah. And when I snap, by the way, I mean I, I take everything down with me. I get fired. Oh, is that right? oh no, not you. I mean you stay and you get oh, another boy. partner. You 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 you, know, you just. Keep going. But I, when I go down, it's over. I mean, I, 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 you know, I torch the bridge. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've done that in the past? No, but, but. You're getting that close? I feel close. All right. Hey, Jerry, get Steckler on the line. Are you I think uh, Brian might be imploding here. Brian does a, a good impression of my voice and of uh, my mannerisms, yeah. and, and and he's made me laugh. There Damn. you go. What, what more do you well, need? You know what? That's very nice, and, and I and I appreciate that. All right. That that that's a very nice compliment. Thank you very much. Yeah, basically, uh, I listened to uh, Kanye and Whitman. Uh, Kanye show. and Whitman. That'll be a good yeah, show. And it's uh, it's, it's all right. You know, they don't <laughs> I'm have trying to show. imagine the Kanye and Whitman show. Yes. Yeah. It's talking about Kanye West, I believe, right? Well, the caller is obviously, which I have heard a lot, is mistaking you for Kanye West. Which I, I get that a lot, though. I can't tell you how many times I've had to correct people who have said, I love that show you do with Kanye West. But right. what he said about I George get that from Bush, relatives. Because Kanye West and, and myself are on the same uh, sort of wavelength, too, when it comes to George Bush. Well, you're easily... Those you, corrupt Republicans. You're easily confused, the two of you. No. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's an okay show. We don't have much... They can talk about how President Bush doesn't care about black people. <laughs> <laughs> they, got, they have recordings of you and uh, Brian, and they, they're always... I'm sorry, I mean, a couple times I thought you were on the air. You know, they're inside the, uh, the studio with them talking. 
And they're yeah. constantly doing, uh, uh, you know, recordings of you, like, laughing or yes. making statements. Well, that's the thing. See, if, if, if Brian had jokes, right. you would know it wasn't me because he would be not only doing a, an imitation of my voice, he'd be doing a parody. Oh, by the way, wait a minute. That would involve <laughs> some yucks. Wait a minute. Do, can, I, can I, folks, I'd like you to play that back because what Tom just said and is... And they're constantly right, doing... Uh, uh, well, I would know I it wasn't me. Laughing or, or making statements. Well, that's the thing. See, if, if, if Brian had jokes... You would know it wasn't me because Stop. if Brian had jokes, you would know it wasn't me. If if Brian had jokes, you would know it wasn't me. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, two more clips. I will take some uh, phone calls from you. Here you go. Well, that's... There's no way this is Tom, but he right. he sounded so similar. I, I don't know. I don't know. It was just really weird. Yeah, it does, it's not, it, I, you know what? The impersonation is is much better than any of the impersonations that are done on Saturday Night Live. Oh, uh, Tim, you're being too uh, kind. No, you're, 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 no, listen I, to me. I think that you listen see I've been me. wounded, listen to me. so you're trying to... Uh, trust me, I'm not. I've said this in the past. But <clears throat> the Rick D's that you do, the Tom Likas... Um, Who else did? That's really good. Yeah. Al Rantel. Who uh, else do you do? Mm. Yo, Clinton, Bush... Oh, I do. Uh, I do public figures and uh, yeah, you do Reagan, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I think all of those are much better than anything on Saturday Night Live right now. Well, Tim, uh, you're being. I think your George Bush is better than than uh, the George Bush they do on Saturday Night Live. Well, look, you know, I, you know, I, uh, you know, so, you know, I, you know. <laughs> See, okay, and and there's a, a physical uh, impression as well, Tim. right? And the Rick D's. But if I was people, actually, you know, my my when when my dad was listening to us uh, one night, my dad has a pretty good ear when it comes to uh, you know authentic voices and people who are doing impersonations. He thought that Rick D's was on with us for an hour. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a very that's a very a huge compliment. That's a, that's high praise. All right, well, a couple more, and then we're gonna but take Rick, some phone calls. Rick here. has never done an hour on his show. Where he's talked about my impression. Well, of maybe you should. No, I want to give you my stupid two cents about what I thought about their show. You know, I honestly thought that it was you when they first started coming on. That's a was... huge compliment. By the way, that's yes, Tim. Yes, Brian. <laughs> yes, but of course. Yes, that's what I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing... God dang. God dang it. You know what? That is, uh, that is such a nice compliment. Man, that is so nice to hear that, and thank you so very much. I was like, man, why is Tom so messed up? He sounds drunk and stoned. I'm like, what is going on? Because he had no... There's no content. You're absolutely right. No content. But... I thought it was just who like Who in the F is this guy on the way? Well, uh, I don't know who he is. Who's the caller? He's a content police. There's no content. I mean, I, God damn it. Tim, I... I now, let's finish this, then you can go off. I, I can't. I can't. I laughed for 10 minutes straight about nothing. Right. That's the bit, you stupid, this, your uh, forehead. The thing that they do, God they go, oh, damn boy, it. oh boy, oh boy. I've never heard you say that, so that's not even an impression. <laughs> okay, now, oh. now this is wrong. Listen to what he says here. The thing that they do, they go, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I've never heard you say that, so that's not even an impression of you. Okay, he's not, he's talking about, he's not talking about, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I think he's mistaking that for, oh boy, oh right. wow. Oh, oh boy. boy. And by the way, when, when we do that impersonation, hit oh, that. Oh boy. That's not. That's not Brian doing Tom Likas. That's oh, Tom. Oh boy. That's Tom Likas. The thing that they do, they go, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I've never heard you say that, so that's not even an impression of you. That's no. Tom doing that. Oh boy. You. So, uh, so you don't enjoy hearing. No, and I think it doesn't even do your show or even your. You want to lead the witness. Let's not lead the witness, but All right. uh, Mike, uh, you're on ninety-seven point one Free FM. Yes. Hi, um, hi guys. Um, how are you doing? All right. Oh, Do yeah, you well, care? <laughs> I know of a guy on, We're doing on the right radio. There. I know of a guy on the radio who is even more outrageous than you in doing an impersonation of Likas. Let's just say he was on the number one talk station in uh, in the LA. Just say his and, name. Don't be beat around the bush, you jackass. <laughs> okay, with Phil Henry. Phil Henry. All right. This is not a station <laughs> where you have to beat around the bush. You can say other call. Uh, call the. Uh, you can say other stations. And you can talk about other people on the air. People are, you know, I heard this on another station. What's well, saying the station? Right. It's very obvious that uh, we're free to, to say whatever we want, even if it means, you know, blasting away at our coworkers. Who cares? Johnny in Woodland Hills, John 97.1 Free of them. Hey, guys. Long time, first time. Oh, good. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, you know what? You don't, who cares what Tom or any of his retarded disciples think? You guys are great. All you got to say is deer, and you have a bunch of people giggling and cracking up. You don't need any material. Deer. And uh, I got you know the, the 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 ones that I enjoy the most are deer. Um, I also enjoy. Uh, of course we can. Of course we can, Tim. <laughs> of course I can. <laughs> And uh, there's one other one that and you always, like the blow ups. You the, like you, you, I like the blow ups, and I, there's one other one that makes me laugh all the time. I can't remember what the hell it is. Meow. Yeah. Uh, was it that? <laughs> yeah, that's it's, it's a, not woo wee. <laughs> is it woo wee? Because I can do that for you if you want a little woo wee. I can do that. All right, uh, Dave in wait, Coast. Wait, wait. All right, go ahead. Please. Hey, it's Brian, you got to go over to Lola's, do your impression, and look how many women you're going to pick up. You think Tom, the way he looks? All right, all right, please. Let's let's be a little civil here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, how come that dump butt doesn't button? Are we in delay? <laughs> Jesus. Jerry, are we in delay? How come the dump button doesn't work here? Jerry. Does it work yes. over there? Yes, it. All oh, right, yeah, it works for you, hmm. but doesn't work in here. All right, well... I will. Uh, Luckily, nothing has happened today. I know, I know, but really. please. Jerry, Jerry. All right, you're my you got to check your props. No, 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 the lights are on in here. That's why I, I know, didn't they're think on, there was they're a problem. They're not on in here, though. God dang it, Jerry. All right, uh, let's talk to a Dave in Costa Mesa. You're on 97.1 Free FM. Hey, uh, you guys are big studs. Uh, uh, you're a big you? stud, man. Hey, Whitman, Whitman, like us loves you. Is that right? I yeah. don't. I don't know that we want to get crazy. Hey, hey, well, I'm not that kind of love. But you know what? That guy's ego is as big as his sex drive or his gut. Oh, please get out of here, Dave in Wisconsin. You're on 97.1 Free FM. Good evening. Hey. I don't think that it's so much that uh, like us dislikes Brian. I think it's that he he sees the possibility for this being the punchline that will not die. Uh, kind of like, that's possible. Yeah, it, it kind of like what Tom Snyder used to put up with with the the reruns of Saturday Night Live and Dan Aykroyd doing him on the reruns. Yes, can you get closer to the phone? Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are you in Wisconsin? You in Madison? Lacrosse. Oh, that's oh, pretty cool. Listening nice. on the internet, huh? Look Listening you. on the internet, and thank God we're you know we we, yeah, we are. Thank God the... we're here. If you want to hear our show, the way nature intended. <laughs> Have you ever lived in Los Angeles? Uh, I, I've only visited. Do you so. listen to Tom's show the way nature intended it? Uh. <laughs> How did you catch these shows? I mean, just cruising around the Internet and you, and you found it? Uh, yeah, more or less. Okay. Really? Well, we, uh, yeah. th hey, we're going to give you something here. Well, you can't send him a, something, that, you know, like a local restaurant certificate. Too. We're going to give you a uh, four-pack of tickets to Knott's Berry Farm. He's in lacrosse. <laughs> I don't care where he is. Uh, it's the uh, 34th. I'll take them. I'll put them up framed on the, on the living room wall. You can yeah. do whatever you want with them. Uh, the 34th annual uh, Not Scary Farm Halloween hunt, Haunt. Uh, every day, uh, everybody's got to go sometime. For more information, go to knots.com. Sure. Knots.com. Maybe you can give them to somebody in the L.A. area. Yes. Got to thank the Internet listeners every once in a while. Yes. Well, is he just giving the tickets? Don't complain, darling. I mean, hey, what is everybody at the station always complain about everything? Give us a call. They had Jerry uh, Wachowski complaining about, uh, you know, emailing me about a complaint today. Oh, Jerry emailed I tell you, I tell you something. I'll tell you, uh, man. Right, this is what drives me uh, effing crazy. I'll tell you, man. There, there, when I used to work for um, for uh, Dick Clark Productions, I knew what level I was at. I was uh, the peon who worked at Dick Clark Productions. I was at the lowest level worked for Dick Clark, and I was very nice to everybody who worked above me. Oh, but now when somebody gets a, a, a job nowadays, they're 20 or 21 years old, they want to be treated as the CEO of the company is treated. Right. Nobody has, nobody knows their place anymore on this planet! Oh, boy. It's Conway Whitman, live on 97.1 Free FM. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It is the Conway Women Show live at 97.1 Free FM. I know. We continue talking about it. All right. Well, if you don't like it, then... Uh, I really know. don't want to talk anymore about I it. I think people want to talk. The listeners are what drive this station, and the listeners want to talk about this. Tom Likas hates Brian Whitman. 
Five two zero ninety seven one zero. He's, not, he's never said that, but I can tell it in his voice. It's obvious. I mean, you know, it's it's obvious. I've I've never done anything to him. I've never been uh, nasty to him or rude to him. And I'm in an uncomfortable position because I like uh, both of you guys. I know, but, Jim. Um, you're, a dip- you're Jimmy Carter. But you're, I am uh, I am the Jimmy Carter of this situation. Of the radio you're exactly station. Correct. Sir. No, I, I have to say I've never done anything nasty to him. I've never said on the air anything rude that he doesn't have material that now, he. That he's unfunny or that he shouldn't, you know, but he attacked me and I think it's, I think it's, um, well, I think it's quite frankly, um, inappropriate. I think also, Tim, that, um, it's unprofessional. Of him to attack you? Rena, you're on 97.1 free FM. I really don't think it is. I really don't give a, give an F. Hi. I don't give an F. You're on the air. How are you guys doing? All right. You know what? In all honesty, um, I just think it's a part of the show, and don't get me wrong, you guys are the best. Whitman, keep doing what you're doing. As far as Tom Likas, I love Tom Likas. I I love his show. But the thing is, aside from anything that may be going on in, in the news today, he'll bring that up. Other than that, his show is, in fact, the same thing over and over again. He'll sit there and he'll demean women and do his little his little skit. And the women who are offended will call. Um, it's the same thing. And the men will call, and they'll agree. And, and well, then it sounds like that, you listen a lot. I do. I, I listen <laughs> you don't to miss guys. a show, do you, dear? <laughs> hey, I hey, uh, Rena. Guys, yes. Uh, I don't know if you remember. Did you ever watch the uh, Howard Stern movie? Yes, I did. Do you remember when they were talking about the ratings at uh, WNBC? Yeah, I remember that. When they said uh, that the average listener listens to, uh, to a Stern for three hours a day. Exactly, for two reasons, be- uh, which is the same thing. Because right, and then, the, and then the person, yeah, then the person who hates Howard Stern listens for four hours a day. Exactly, yeah. which is is you know it's good radio, obviously. That's why we got to get more people to hate this show. <laughs> Well, I love your guys' show. It's it's the well, best. You're you know? very sweet. I mean, you're very you guys sweet. keep doing what you're doing. Whitman, honestly, I don't think it's so much that he hates you. I think it's just all a part of the show. It's all a part of the act. Oh. Now, you know, if he hates me, it doesn't really matter. Yes, I mean, it I, does. No, I'd prefer he not hate me. If your mailman didn't like you, you'd go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, and, and also, Whitman, I have to tell you, one of my coworkers, she absolutely adores you. She ooh. loves you. Oh, well, thank you very much. What is her name? Her name is Melissa. And oh. she's listening right now. Is actually. she hot? Um, actually, she is. She's pretty hot. Really? Did you, did yeah. she, uh, did she uh, got some dude who's uh, banging her? <laughs> um, that I don't know. You'll have to check up with her on that really? one. Really? <laughs> How tall yeah. is she? Like you, Rena. <laughs> Me? No, I'm sorry. I'm How arguing. tall is she? <laughs> No, but she's she's uh she's pretty hot, yeah. Uh, <laughs> how, how how tall is she? She is, uh, I believe, she's five three, five four. All right. Yeah. Well, Brian's height, and uh, how much does she weigh? Um, uh, gosh, honestly, I don't know off. Uh, I'm not you good with that. I don't want to. I don't want to estimate him. Uh oh. Uh, but um, she's Uh-oh. five four. When somebody doesn't want to uh, even guess on the weight. It's bad. That's a huge bitch. Hey, 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 Jerry. Oh, no, no, no. She's cute. Jerry, please. She's cute. Is she uh, 130? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. South of 130? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Why does your, why does your no. voice, why does the pitch of your voice go up when you talk about your friend's weight? Is I'm, she uh, 130, Betty? It's the big, um, it's the big girl, man. I don't man. know. Um, you know what? She's dropped dead gorgeous, actually. Really? She is. She's dropped dead gorgeous. She would like to have sexual relations with me? <laughs> I can't speak for her. All I know is that she knew she, that I was going to be on there, and she just wanted me to tell you that she loves you. She wow. absolutely loves you. All right. Well, well very sweet. Tell Rena, me thank we, you. Uh, we're, we, uh, we're going to send you something, too, baby. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, a family four-pack of tickets to the 34th annual Not Scary Farm Halloween Haunt. Oh, look oh, at you. Great. Everybody great. has to go sometime. For more information, go to uh, knots.com. Uh, I said it. Hold on one second. Okay, there you keep go. it up, guys. All right, take care of yourself. Thank you, dear. Dave and La Mirada, you're on 97.1 Free FM. Hey, uh. I listened to that show today, and uh, Tom took a lot of callers where uh, all they did single was celled kiss his butt. Yeah, exactly, and stuff. And you guys are great together. You guys. Tom uh, took a lot of calls from amoebas. Exactly. Uh, this is Paramecium on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> so you don't like their show? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Here you go, Paramecium. 
Oh, Jerry, you effed it Jesus up. God Christ. damn it, Jerry. I wonder how Jerry uh, got fired from the Leica show. <laughs> Let's try it again, maybe. All right, here we go. This is Paramecium on the Tom Leica show. Hello. <laughs> Women are cheap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you spend more than $40? <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> right you are, son. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Women are too emotional. <laughs> Thank you. Here. Can you believe that he had that up twice two times in a row? Jerry, you really are into F it, huh? Dude, dude. All right, third time, Jerry. Dude, I was recording this for the end of the show clip. Oh. And you kind of hit me with it a little, but from the top, it, Jerry. We didn't hit you at the end of it. Hold on, from I the know. top. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. This is Paramecium on the Tom Likes show. Hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Women are cheap. <laughs> right, you are. <laughs> and uh, do you have one cell? <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. You just need to get laid. <laughs> but not more than $40. <laughs> Thank you, Paramecium. Here you go, Paramecium. <laughs> this is Amoeba on the Tom Like His Show. Hello, Amoeba. Yes. Uh huh. One yeah. work. Yes, one working cell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, at least you're not paying vagina money, Amoeba. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Here you go, Amoeba. <laughs> This is Plankton on the Tom Likey Show. <laughs> yes, hello, Plankton. Yes. And uh, for how long have you been drifting in the sea? Really? Yes. Unbelievable. I hope you poured Tabasco sauce on that condom. <laughs> Here you go, Plankton. Robert in Norco, you're on 97.1 Free FM. <laughs> okay. Hey, dude. Oh, man, I'm rolling. That's so funny. Um, I just want to request a, uh, an impersonation, and it's just when okay. someone comes in and they try to start talking, you cut them off, and you're just like, here you go, and you just blow them the hell here up. Here you go, Robert. <laughs> Sunny and Orange, you're on 97.1 Free FM. Oh, my God. Hello. Hey. Hi, uh, hey Brian with me, and hi Tim Conway. Hi Sonny. Um, oh my God, uh, Tom is like oh my Brian. Yes. Tom. I'm sorry. Yes. B Brian. Yes. Tom, like oh my God, he loves you. All right. Sir. Do oh my God, don't say mean things. About who? About who? About Tom. I oh, don't say mean things about anybody. I'm not. I, I don't. I don't do that. Oh my God, just talk normally. That's like do oh my. You... Like a porno. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just talk normally. Like my wife. No, oh, wow. Nicole in West LA here on 97.1 Free FM. Oh my god, Brian, I love you so much. Oh, oh you're boy. very sweet. Oh my god. You sound very emotional. Yes, don't so cry, sorry. dear. Don't cry, sweetheart. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay. Um, I think maybe Tom is probably worried about. Having a big joke, becoming you're, you're doing the, the things that he does, and you're pointing them out that he he does say dear, and he does you know do the blow me up thing repetitively. Wait, so you think does. maybe it's it's hitting a little too close to home? Uh, probably because he he sees that you're pointing those things out, and he thinks maybe that's all people are gonna they're gonna associate yes dear with Tom like this, and you know over and over and over again. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. Well, that's a fair point. Maybe it is. Maybe it is hitting too close to home, and he's hearing it and thinking, my God, is that really what I do? That yeah. that's possible. Um, but but it's 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 the sincerest form of flattery. I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't genuinely entertained by by what he does on the air. I mean, I you know great. I wouldn't be interested enough to even do it. You're fine. You're fine. It's entertaining, and it, I don't ever think that oh Tom Mike is on the show. You have to be an idiot. But uh, Tom, could you one yet? Here you go, Nicole. <laughs> All right, it's Conway and Women live at ninety seven point one Free FM. All 
right, welcome back, everybody. It is the Conway Whitman Show live at 97.1 Free FM. Quite a uh, Dodger season, huh? Oh, it's over, too. Oh, boy. Oh. The Dodgers. Did free you? and out. Well, I'm I glad I didn't pay money to go see that stinking team. Now, you know what? See, it's amazing how you switch up on these guys. Because remember the night with the four home runs in a row? Yeah, that was pretty cool. You were the biggest Dodger blue fan there's ever been. And now right. you've turned on them. And I, I think it's, I think it's a, I think it's a, I think you're a fair weather uh, friend, a fan. Yeah, I'm just you know? tired. <clears throat> I'm tired of, um, I mean, <clears throat> the, the mistakes they made in that series. I've never seen two guys get thrown out at home plate at the same time. Never seen it? <clears throat> ever. In the, 30 plus years that you've been following the sport. I went to my first game in 1969, so that's I was six years old. You're coming uh, up on your 40th anniversary as a Dodger fan. Yeah, in three years, so it'll be 40 years I've been watching this team. And I've never seen that in baseball in my entire life. Two guys get thrown out at the plate. The catcher has the ball, and two guys come in and slide and both get thrown out. Did you think it was possible, Tim? No, I didn't. But now I do. Vin Scully who has been broadcasting with the Dodgers since the 50s. Right. Said he had never seen it. He has never seen it. Yeah. Can you imagine? That's happening in the playoffs. And he, Vin, had never seen it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Ah, Christ. So I see that all of the excitement, the momentum after the uh, record-breaking four homers, uh, that's gone, right? Yeah, it's over. <clears throat> it's completely over. F everyone. F these Dodgers. Mm -hmm. yeah, just now you got to wait till you know, not, no, until next year. Now, who do you like, Tim? Well, we have four teams remaining. That I know. Yeah, do you know who they are? The Mets, right. St. Louis, uh, Minnesota. No, Minnesota's are out. No, the Mets. The Oakland's. No, 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 Oakland, Mets, St. Louis, Man. Arizona. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, man. <clears throat> My uncle wrote a song about this city. Oh, that's right. Chicago. No. Mm. It borders Canada. Hmm. It's where the Detroit Lions play. The Tigers. There you go. The Tigers. I, I, I knew. I knew. I knew because I did know. My uncle wrote a song called Detroit, Detroit City. The bars are hopping and the girls are giddy. Rah, rah for day twa. My home, sweet home. Do we have that I'm on? I'm home. Do we have that on? L.A.'s hot and smoggy. New York's nuts and San Fran's foggy. Yeah. Rah, rah for day toi. My home, sweet home. Now, we have some other... Uh, your my uncle uncles. wrote... You know, my favorite song that your uncle wrote was... Uh, and I saw him on Real Time with Bill Maher over the, the weekend. The Angels song? Or the John Kerry song. The John Kerry song. The Angels were not on Real Time with Bill Maher. Yeah. But um, John Kerry was, as it turns out. Yeah, my uncle wrote this song about, uh, my uncle Dan wrote the song about John Kerry. I thought that this was going to be like the campaign yeah. theme. Like, you know, like, uh, you know. He was really pulling for that John Kerry, man. And it didn't uh, it didn't quite happen. Here's uh, my uncle wrote a song that's a, a couple years old about uh, John Kerry, man. Jerry, get ready to sing. Yeah, too. Jerry, Jerry Wachowski really sings this uh, song pretty well. Here we go, man. Nail it, Jerry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> March of 69. It was March of 69 in a land called Vietnam when Jim Rassman was blown right off his boat. And that boat on, Jerry. Oh, it was his lucky day for Lieutenant John Kerry came about. Here we go. Come on. Solo, Jerry. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. John Kerry's gonna save the day. Help is on the way. All right. With the wounded arm, Kerry carries to his engine from arm. Then he turned that boat around and raced away. Come on, Jerry. He got three, three purple hearts and a bronze and silver, silver star. Lieutenant John Kerry saved the day. Everybody, come on. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. John Kerry's gonna save the day. Help is on the way. Verse 3. After the, the war, he became a lawyer man. And, and then a senator in the government. <laughs> and he works for you and me. And he worked to keep us free. 
And Tommy's going to be our, our president. president. Hope so is on the way. Hope is on the way. Hope is on the way. Come on, Jim. John Kerry's going to save the day. Hope is on the way. Come on, Jerry. That's classic. <laughs> All right, gang, we come back. The world's greatest attorney is with us, everybody. Well, John Kerry's an attorney, too. No, he's not the world's greatest attorney. We have uh, the world's greatest attorney, so if you have your, uh, any legal questions you might have, this guy will have the answer. If not, he'll BS you. Help is on the way. You bet. It's Conway Women, live at 97.1 Free FM.